All right, what's going on, guys? Dan the Bowman here. Today, we're going to be building some new arrows. Just got these in the other day. They're the Eastern Axis Long Range 4mm. They are the match grade version in a 300 spine. I'm changing up setups a little bit. Um, I still have my VXR, still have my Vertex, but I'm going to have two uh, different arrow setups, different pounder setups. So let's get going on it. I'm excited about this. This is kind of my first little project with my new bow shop. Um, I got pretty much everything in order. The only thing I haven't figured out yet is the drawboard mounting it. I got an older style press, newer style drawboard, so the fittings aren't aren't quite right, but I'll figure it out. So, all right, let's get into it. All right. So all I'm really doing here, guys, before I get too invested in this, is cutting one arrow, making sure I like it before I cut all of them. Um, I really like the overall length of these injections. I want these axis as close as possible to the same length and they're pretty dang close not exactly but close enough like I said this outsert system is just different so but I'm happy with that I'm going to finish making this one up um, probably run it through paper as bare shaft and fletch up a couple and see what happens. <laughs> Good practice, always clean out the carbon dust. Better your arrows after cutting. Feel that? Feel that down? Yeah. I don't want to focus, but it's there. This right here is just a Gorilla Glue um, epoxy. It's a fast set epoxy. So the old Eastern ones, uh, it's great, but it's a slow cure epoxy. It takes 24 hours. This I can use it and be shooting that same arrow within. It's just five minutes, so five ten minutes. I'm gonna be shooting the same arrow. It's ready to go. Gluing, out straight in. Like I said, I'm just starting with one, so I'm just gonna use a very small bit of this right now and make it up. Mm -hmm. Oop. Where's the other end? There it is. Get you. And just, and just wait a minute. I'll grab another paper towel here. Oh, yeah. First bear shaft through paper. See what happens. Pretty dang good. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh yeah. All right, so I just had another one for added measure. Right, this one, right here. Not that one. This one. Uh, shot another one for added measure. I'm happy with that. So what I'm gonna do from here is fletch up that arrow, shoot it again through paper, make sure everything's good, and then finish building the rest of the arrows, and hopefully be done from there. And then I just gotta side them in. So for the 
these, I'm going to do a four clutch, and I'm going to do these tack drivers. These are the two and three quarter inch. Official weight. Four sixty six and a half grains. Right. Now time. Clutch there. I mean, first one. Perfect. All right. So as you saw, I just shot. Perfect bullet hole. With my old release, my trusty Spot Hog Wise guy. I am going to be switching to a new one for a little bit. Carter Wise Choice, three fingered. Uh, very simple reason, it's easier for me to film. That's really all it's coming down to. So I'm going to have to change D loop length, beep height a little bit. But um, all I'm checking right now is to see if I still tune through paper the same with this release versus my Wise Guy. So, let's see. And it looks like I do. So, that one on the top left was the first one with the Spot Hog Wise Guy. That one down the middle is that new Wise Choice. Both awesome, awesome tears through paper. Alright guys, turned into a late night. It's 11 o'clock, but we got them built up. Just letting them sit for a little bit. Um, I gotta be at work early in the morning, so I'm gonna call it a night, but cranked them out. We got my bow fixed up for uh, 75 pounds and a thumb release and those arrows, so they just need to be sighted in. So yeah, all in all, a good night. Next up, we'll be fixing up the verdicts. I'm not going to tell you all what I'm doing with that yet. Well, yeah, I will. Um, changing out strings, and I'm going to get that ready for a thumb release as well. So change the length on the D-loop a little bit, move the peep, peep sight a little bit. Sorry, I'm tired. And uh, get ready for that to be my 70-pound... 330 injection setup. So, anyway, that's all I got for now. I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>